Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorhome Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. You name it and we can most definitely build it. In today's episode, we'll be walking through a double cab Bolero based pop-up pickup conversion and this asset may look similar to the conversion that we walked through in 2022. Vagabond, India's first slide-in pop-top pickup caravan based on Isuzu. The name is Rai Zinder and this has a sleeping as well as seating accommodation of up to four people. So without the further ado, let's walk through this conversion. So we're standing on the exterior of the caravan and you guys already know the drill. We are going to start from the exterior and then move to the interior of this caravan. The exterior has been painted in a cosmic matte black finish. Up here we have our outsource and if you have been on our channel for long you already know that this can be plugged or we can use this to plug in an external power source and then function our caravan completely. Up next here we have our inlet to the fresh water tank that we are going to use in the kitchen as well as the bathroom area. This here is the fuel tank. Moving to the front and we'll be talking about certain exterior customizations that we have done on this asset. First up, we have a metal bumper. We have changed the front fascia a wee bit just to make it look different than a normal Bolero. Apart from that, we also have a winch on the front. And again, if you have seen our previous conversions, you already know that this winch can come in handy if you are stuck with your caravan on any muddy road or a certain location or if you want to help somebody who are stuck in that situation. Apart from that, we have upgraded the tires with offset rims and we have also added the air balloon suspensions. Both the tires as well as the air balloon suspension can be inflated or deflated using the oil-based compressor that we have specially provided in this caravan apart from our other conversion that you have already walked through which is domicile. So the compressor has a pressure of up to 120 PSI and using that we can inflate and deflate the pressure of both the tires as well as the air balloon suspension. Up next moving to the cabin area. Now especially in this asset we have also done some exterior customizations. Here you can see that the flooring has been done from our end along with certain knickknacks and other customizations on the cabin side. Here we have done quilting on the caravan's asset and you can see that there's a small door up there which gives you entryway or the access from inside the cabin itself. Apart from that we also have these metal steps and we are now going to go towards our kitchen which is stored inside. <laughs> Opening this door we have a double leg setup similar to what we have in our other customizations such as Rambler and opening the first deck here we have ample storage space not only to store your cutleries, utensils and groceries but also a tap which can be simply hooked in here And these pipes are going to get connected there where you have your fresh water inlet or the outlet to a cold and hot water supply. Next up. Now the client demanded that he wanted to have something similar. So we ordered this from Amazon and we have done some customization here because of which you can simply hook it in place and voila you have your sink ready to be used opening the second deck here we have our two top burner which 
marks the end of your kitchen area. Now we are going to move to the rear of the camper. Up here we have our spare tire and these hitch chairs which are going to take us to the inside. So what you do is you simply unbolt these, bring it back down and you have your hitch steps ready to be used. Before we enter inside, I just want to touch base on the exterior or the rooftop area that we have. So if you have seen our previous customization Vagabond, you already know that this pop-up is something we have provided in that asset as well. But here, the linear actuators that we have used function on a PLC setup. And we'll put more information about that in the description as well as somewhere in the screen as to what that means. Now, let's move to the interior. So here we have our latch as well as a two-door setup, which provides you ample room to enter on the inside. And now we are going to head in. So we are now on the interior and before we pop the top up, we have a height of approximately four feet on the inside, but post popping the top, we have a height of approximately seven feet. And after we enter in, the first thing that we are going to talk about is the bathroom area. So when we enter the bathroom area, first of all, this is a little redundant, but you already know that the bathrooms that we build are our USP. Building bathroom inside a wheels or inside a home on wheels is our USP. Here, the complete paneling has been done using reinforced fiber panels, which means we have reinforced multiple fiber panels to form a single unit, which is why you get such a uniform look on the inside. Inside the bathroom area, the first thing that we have is this tab, which can also be pulled out to form a shower. Up next, we have a drop down wash basin area. Again, the wash basin itself has been made up of reinforced fiber panels. And apart from that, there's a portable toilet. Now, usually what happens is we have a portable toilet and we have to remove the cassette and then discard the black water somewhere else. However, here the client demanded that he wanted to have some kind of easy access. So in this case, even in the portable toilet, the function that we have done is with a press of a button, you can simply undo it and you won't then have to get your hands dirty. Moving to the next area that we have is the seating space. Now, you know that the area that we had inside Bolero, the caravan that we had built on Bolero as well as Wagabon, the Isuzu based caravan, because the kitchen was on the inside, we had no space on this particular area. But in this case, we have open space, not also to walk, but also to form this sofa setup into a bedding area. And these sofas, can easily seat one person. So just behind the cabin area, here we have our microwave as well as a fridge. Both have been painted in a matte black color. Now, before we enter the top, there are some basic amenities that we need to touch base on. Number one is the lighting, which is all battery operated. Apart from that, we have a AC on the top and there's a hatch about which we are going to top after we hop onto this bedding area that can easily sleep up to two plus one. So I'll just hop on. So we are now on the top bed setup that we have. After popping the top up, you can easily sleep in this space. I will just give you an estimate of how much space we have in here. One and two, I think three people can easily sleep in here. And this particular setup that we have, the open setup that we have in here, you must have noticed that we used to mention in our previous conversions that you can opt in for a canvas all around, or you can opt in for no canvas, which is the case in this asset in Zender. And the client wanted to have some kind of open setup to connect with nature, which is why they opted for this big hatch. So this as well has been customized in-house in the Motorhome Adventures HQ. If you're interested in renting or building this kind of an asset, you can do so using the links that are mentioned either in the description box or somewhere on the screen. And we also have caravans available for self-driven rental. And if you're interested in getting this asset or an asset similar to this customized, then you can also visit our website, which is www.caravanconversion.com. And that marks the end of this conversion. 
if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels and stay tuned for that thank you so much for coming by motorman adventures signing off